Hello, this is part 4 of the main.js tutorial. So first, let's quickly review what we've done in our last video. We finished writing up some simple tests for our data model, and we've implemented the basic functionality to make those tests pass, as you can see here. So our post model, we've given three data fields, title and text, which are strings. The title has a subfield here that specifies that it can't be blank. So we tested to make sure that it requires a title field in order to be saved. And we also have an author field here. And this is of type schema object ID. So it references another mongoose object, which in this case is a, the user object or user model. And then we started writing our server route tests. And since we spent most of our time coding instead of explaining what each of these components does, let's do that now. So at the top, we have a bunch of require statements. These are just our libraries that help us do testing. We have a, the should library helps us write our assertions that lets us compare whether you see if a certain variable equals a certain value. And the super test here helps us mock HTTP requests. The path is just used to grab our config library and we have the mongoose models imported so we can create uh, mongoose objects in here and we declare some global variables so we can use them throughout our tests so first remember before everything in the before block will happen once before we start all of our tests. So here we just initialize our agent that helps us uh, mock HTT HTTP requests. And before each, we create a user. Here we just save the credentials so we can easily pass them when we try to do our fake sign-in and in our user after we save the user in the callback we just create a mock post and we've written one test to test whether we can create or save a post if our agent is logged in so you can see we're testing this route the slash API slash post we're posting to that route and of course our test uh, our test failed since we haven't implemented that route yet So we can leave a note here that says we're testing uh, HTTP post to the API slash post route and we can just take note of the other HTTP calls that we need to test. So there's delete and for this one we're going to need a post ID to specify what post we want to delete. We need to test just the plain get 
we might also want to test the single get so if we want to grab just a single post we need to give that a post ID and there's also the put method that we need to test for updating a certain post so for now we'll probably just finish writing the get and delete and then from there we're going to implement our route and then we'll probably go back to working on the front end a bit so first let's let's implement our test for the first get here so we should be able to get a list of posts if logged in and also we should be testing that we shouldn't be able to get it if we're not logged in but we will do that in the future after we go over the policies and access control on the server side so just like the first test we wrote we're going to have our agent sign in and actually since we don't want to mix the creating and I mean the posting and the get functions we want to test them individually hence unit testing let's create our let's create another mock post object like this so we don't have to use an HTTP post to create a post. We're going to just save it and have our agent login after we save our post. So now let's use the get method to try to retrieve the post we just saved. So we have 200. So if there is no error, then we should expect the result body should be an instance of an array. And don't forget to call done at the end so it doesn't get stuck. And let's also write the just the delete method for now. So 
we should be able to delete a post if logged in. And of course there are a lot more tests that we need to write, but we can leave that as a soft exercise or we might do it in a future video. So again, let's create a post like in our last test so that we don't have to mix our routes in each the test. So now we can call our delete function and now we have to tell it what ID post we want to delete. So we can get that by just using the ID of the post we just saved. And the rest should look the same. as our other tests. So what we should see is our result should give ID of the result should equal the ID of the object that we just created. So there should the parentheses around here and again don't forget to call the done at the end so it knows to move on and let's go ahead and run the test see what happens I think we saw the three tests fail, and yes, they did. So, of course, we expected our test to fail because we haven't implemented the routes yet. So, what we're going to do next is open up the controller and the Routes file that we generated earlier. So you see the controller has all of these uh, method definitions that we need to fill in. And our route will call these methods from the controller in order to give the user the data they and looks like we're going to need to continue this in our next video. So I'll see you in part five.